Okay, welcome to part five in our series on how to design a surgery drags to end on shape. What we're now going to do is we're now going to create our front axle. So what we can see is the rear axle has been rear axle hole has been preset, and that's the same for everyone. But because our cars are all different sizes, you can choose where you want your front axle. So the rear axle was created in sketch three. So if we want to edit that and we want to add a second hole. What we can do is we can right click on sketch three and if we click edit, it will allow us to now edit that sketch. Now you notice that it's gone back to its original sketch, which was back in the original block. If we click on this final button, it will actually preview the model as it is where we, we finished. So what we now want to do is might just zoom in a bit here, is we're going to now click on the center point circle tool. So this is going to create a circle for us, a hole. So we click on that. We're going to come down and we're going to hover over the center of the of that hole. And we're going to, don't need to click yet, we're just going to drag across so we get this yellow dotted line. And what we want is we want to choose where we're going to put our front axle. Now I'm just going to choose this point here. So when I click, it creates a center point for the circle and now as I move my circle back and forth it actually changes the size of it now we're going to type in the dimension so if I just click again with the left click it brings up this box I'm now going to just press four because it's a four millimeter hole I'm going to hit enter and you can see that our hole has been has been created to finish that sketch all I now need to do is click the tick box and what we get is a um, the hole is there now if I click on the show button on sketch three, you can actually see where the hole where the hole is. So our next step is we now need to remove that material for our um, for our axle. So we're going to go to extrude three, and we're going to edit extrude three because that's where it removed the hole. And we're now going to Click on our click on our hole, and you should now see face of sketch three. You should see it there, and you notice that that hole actually looks like it's been removed. So if I click on the tick, what we should now see is if we right, we can see that that's actually now a hole that goes all the way through. So what we've done there is we've now not only um, created the front axle, we've removed it. So now we've got our hole there. If your car looks like this one here, where we don't have the cutout on the bottom, please go to part six for the next step. However, if your car does have this cutout on the bottom, like this example, you'll need to go to part 6B to, uh, to describe how to do the, the top profile um, for our car.